Hello guys and welcome back to my channel. Today in this video I'm going to build and fly a new 4K 3-inch quadcopter using the Flexo C Colugo frame. In this video I'm going to go over the parts that I used, give you my feedback, and then show you the build procedure and the flight footage. First of all, the frame that I used is the Flexo C Colugo, which is a pretty versatile frame, so you can adjust it according to your needs. It's designed to carry the battery on the top of the frame, offers the option to add propeller guards, and has plenty of space to mount two 20 by 20 stacks. In addition, you can also buy 3D printed compatible parts from Flexo C, such as this GoPro Session 5 camera mount. However, in order to keep this build light, I chose to use the Cadex Tazir 4K split camera. The camera unit is soft mounted using these two 3D printed TPU parts, which help to reduce the jello in the flight footage. It's relatively protected, and I can already tell you that there are no propellers in view. The Cadex Tazir boards are mounted on the front of the frame, and on the back, I mounted the iFlight 6X F7 Twin G Mini Stack, and on top of it, the Rush FEV Tank Mini VTX. The radio receiver that I chose to use in this build is the FR Sky RXSR, which is located over here. Its antennas are safely protected using these antenna tubes, and the VTX antenna that I used is the Foxeer Lollipop 3. Finally, the motors that I used are these beautiful Fly One In 1408-3650 KB motors, which are very power hungry, but also very powerful motors, especially when you combine them with the Gemfan Flash 3052 propellers. The total weight of this build is 215 grams, so it's going to be pretty hard for you to keep it under 250 grams, including a battery. What you can do in order to reduce the weight is to reduce the propeller guards, but then of course the propellers are not going to be protected. The weight of the quadcopter, including a 3S 850mAh, is 291 grams. And I also flew it using these two 4S Lyper batteries. So including this, the two 850mAh 4S Lyper battery, the total weight is 318.9 grams. And including this 520 GNB 4S LHB battery, the total weight is 270.7 grams. If you just want to cruise around and film cinematic shots, a 3S Lyper battery would be fine, and you can expect between 5 to 6 minutes using this type of battery. However, if you want to push the throttle and have some acro fun, I recommend to use this quadcopter with a 4S Lapa battery. However, you should note that the flight time is going to be relatively short. Another option, which is actually the one I prefer, is to stick to 4S batteries and define another rate profile with lower rates and limited throttle, which is going to help you to take cinematic shots. So overall, I can tell you that I'm pretty pleased with this build as it looks great flies great and also has very minimal jello in the flight footage and the Colugo 3-inch frame is a great platform for this type of build. I do recommend that if you are going to fly this type of setup indoors to add protection on the sides since this frame might not be enough and hopefully Flexo C are going to offer this option. Now I'm going to show you the build procedure and the flight footage so I hope you will enjoy the rest of this video and as always if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comment section down below don't forget to leave a thumbs up if you like this video and consider subscribing to my channel and hitting the notifications bell if you're not already subscribed. See you on my next videos and goodbye.